Hey folks, Brad here from Squeaky Clean Comics, and I wanted to show you guys the new submission that we're sending out. We have 25 moderns and a couple uh, high-valued ones that are going to go um, ultimate value, like they get it and they rush it right through and they grade it and we get custom labels and uh, I'll show those as well. So first off, um, this order of 25 is moderns, uh, me... Tommy's got one, Keith's got a bunch, Mark's got a bunch. Um, so we're just going to go through that and see what we're sending. So first off, I've got my stuff. So I've got uh, first appearance of Deadpool. That came in on a trade. Um, then another first appearance of Deadpool also came in on a trade. And then we have X-Men 94 came in on a trade. Uh, Gambit, Newsstand, it's pretty high grade too, so I'm hoping in the 9s, because I think I only have an 8.5, and I traded, I had two of them, and I traded one away last week. Then we have, uh, first Deathstroke, Newsstand, I don't know if that matters, but, uh, it's probably in the 9s, so I'm hoping. Then we have, uh, Wolverine meets Deadpool, uh, 88, Wolverine 88, um, real, real nice book, no spine ticks on it, hoping, hoping, hoping for the good stuff there. Uh, and then we have a Sandman number one, which again is a 9.8 contender. So hopefully I'll get the 9.8. I got a 9.6, now I want a 9.8. That's what I'm sending. Then we have Keith, who is sending, um, Keith Berkman, by the way, uh, who is sending Thrawn Alliance's one of 25 variant. And the last Thrawn one of 25 exploded in value. So um, hopefully that does the same thing. And then we have... Uh, the hypiest hype book of the heights, uh, Ultimate uh, Spider-Man 1. We'll see if this does anything, uh, but we're getting graded anyway. Then we have first McFarlane work on Amazing Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 298. Then we have uh, Wolverine Annual 99, which has got a classic Deadpool uh, battle going on there. Uh, Wolverine 17, which is basically the, um, the custom label for Wolverine is, is that one. And then we have Wolverine uh, 155, another classic Deadpool battle. Um, Keith is really hoping those spike up. Then we have Punisher number one, Newsstand. This is a big book. Um, and it's a really nice condition, big book. So we shall see what this comes in. But uh, yeah, that's, a, that's quite, the, quite the substantial book. Then we have Deadpool number one, Scotty Young variant from the 2013 series. Um, yeah. Then we got Marvel Tales, reprint of the first appearance of Punisher. Uh, this is a little lower grade, like I'm probably hoping for a 7 maybe. Then we have Punisher number 1, first ongoing series. Uh, another beautiful book for Keith. Then we have the one book Tommy sending, uh, Maiden Spider-Man 149, which just basically meets the cutoff of 70, 1975 up. Um, First appearance of the Spider Clone, Ben Riley. Then Mark uh, is just sending in a bunch of Amazing Spider Man from the mid 200s. So we've got uh, first appearance of Will of the Wisps. These are all high grade. Like we're hoping 9 4 plus for these guys. Uh, Moon Knight appearance. Madam Web is not going to be in the 9s. It's probably going to be an 8 5. It's really nice, but it's got a couple big things right there. Then we got Amazing Spider Man 274. Amazing Spider-Man 278. And of course, I've cleaned and pressed all these. Amazing Spider-Man 245. And Amazing Spider-Man 276. Uh, most of them are newsstands. New uh, actually, not newsstands. Canadian price variants. So it's even uh, a little more special. So uh, then I had bought this big book last year. This isn't the big, big book I've been telling people about. But this is this is my biggest book, I think. Um, and then my good buddy Aaron went and bought the exact same book. And then uh, he was like, we should send them in. And I was like, yeah, let's send them in. I was going to wait and send them in uh, when I sent in the other big books. But uh, these two need to go ASAP. Um, so they're going Ultimate Value. And they're going with uh, custom logos or custom uh, labels. And I will show you the books. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? You probably freaking saw. Two Wolverine, first appearance of Wolverines. Aaron's got little marks on it, so we know which is which. 
uh, when we send it in. Uh, I put that there so that we would know uh, which one is his and which one's mine. Uh, I'm just joking. That's oh my god! Imagine, imagine doing that. Uh, but yeah, so these guys are gonna go uh, right away, and uh, these things are getting packaged up today. I'm curious to see how fast this ultimate value thing uh, turns around. So uh, hopefully by the end of the day, these will be on their way down to Florida. And then uh, we'll do an unboxing video when they come back. Because, man, we love those unboxing videos. Uh, that's about it. Amanda's got a great auction going on right now on uh, the Canada Auction uh, website. I will link it in the comments below. Um, it's all Silver Age books. Uh, a couple a couple big ones sold. We were pretty happy about that. It was kind of a dud of an auction there. It wasn't really doing a whole lot, and she was pretty... I kind of kind of took it over a bit um, because I wanted to move some of my Silver Age stuff. So basically, everything that's on the auction is the Silver Age page on Squeaky Clean Comics, um, which was really easy for her to set up the auction because it was copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Um, and we were doing nothing with it. Like, it had, like, a $12 bid from Donovan. And then uh, a gentleman yesterday bought up, like, four bucks. That was, like, a good chunk of change. So it's like, all right. So that was not a waste of time like we thought it was going to be. Uh, but it ends tonight, so go check out the Comic Auctions page. I will link it in the uh, in the um, replies. And uh, our next auction is going to be all Star Wars. And that'll start... We'll send it in for approval as soon as this one finishes tonight. Probably start doing the tags tomorrow. Uh, it should wrap up, I think, on Sunday. <coughs> that is about it <clears throat> if you uh would like to do some trading contact me through the facebook page or squeakyclincomics.com um or even instagram like we're all over now um but yeah you have yourself a great thursday and uh look forward to talking to you again soon